Hey there YouTube. Today we're going to go over my EDC or everyday carry backpack. It is the Vertex EDC Ready Pack. I've had it for a couple years now. It's a great pack. It's a uh, blue and gray kind of subdued colors. Very comfortable and let's check out the contents. So first off on this outside water bottle pocket, I've got a 48 ounce Nalgene that goes everywhere with me. I generally carry um, at least a regular bottle of water, uh, but this is just kind of a backup in case I need some extra water. So in this front compartment, I've got some wet wipes, tissues, I've got a Cedar Summit mosquito head net. I've got this as a travel john. I learned about this from the Urban Prepper. Um, it's basically just a small urinal in a bag. You unroll it, uh, do your business in there, and it's got um, when your waist interacts with uh, the stuff that's in there, it kind of solidifies. And that way it's not just sloshing around and you can roll it back up and throw it away. I've got a couple individual wet ones that I can just throw in my pocket if I need to. A Silcock key for accessing water from exterior of buildings. I've got just a small uh, garbage bag here in case I need to pick up any trash or uh, hold anything in there. Got some repel. Got a Leatherman rebar. This is an old uh, wallet insert that I keep. It's just got my gas card for work. It's got a, an extra old ID in there in case I lose my wallet, at least I've got some way to identify myself. Got a right in the rain notepad. Just a bandana. And a SOL emergency blanket. Also got a couple of these just blank white cards. Um, Figure if I need to <clears throat> maybe access a door that's uh, accidentally locked or something like that, I might be able to use one of these plastic cards to make my way in there. here. Uh, it's got some molly webbing in here. You can take this part of the backpack and stuff it down into here if you want to have this exposed, but I just keep it zipped up like that. I've got a little thing of palm OC spray. Um, it's always nice to have more of a non-lethal uh, self-defense tool. And keep just a mini pry bar in there. Three glow sticks in green. I've got a Streamlight Stylus Pro in there. Um, I always carry a flashlight on my on my person in one of my pockets, but this is just kind of a kind of a backup. So down here, I keep um, an extra pack of wet ones as well as some uh, flushable toilet wipes. If I'm out and about and I need to use a questionable restroom, I'll take this in there to use my own wipes and uh, clean my hands with that. Got a small pair of bolt cutters. Um, if I need to gain access through a fence or something like that, these will um, just kind of cut through small chain, chain link fences and that sort of thing. And 
I've got a small microfiber towel, just good for drying off your hands or if it's raining and your you know stuff gets wet, you can dry it off with that. So inside the main compartment of the bag here, um, it's got a mesh pocket on this side as well as a couple slots on this side. So I've got a couple pens here, a couple of Sharpies here, red and black, and then I have uh, just a small folding knife. We've got a Fox 40 whistle and a small compass and temperature gauge. So inside this pocket here, I've just got an extra mask. I generally have masks on me at all times. I've got a ready mask. Um, this would uh, protect you against some of these things listed here, aerosols, dust, flu virus, particles, insulation, mold, smoke, that sort of thing. I've got a 10 pack of vacuum sealed masks that I keep for my daughter, um, just in case she forgets her masks or um, we just don't have access to the ones that she normally carries. So I keep back up in my bag. And one pack of toe warmers and one pack of hand warmers. That's everything in there. And then the rest of the bag is just a couple of these um, pouches and we'll go through those separately. So in this pouch, it's uh, my little electronics pouch. It's an organizer pouch from Vertex. It has Velcro on the back, so I just Velcro it to the back panel of my backpack, which accepts Velcro um, across the whole panel. So first off, I've got a small black diamond headlamp, just in case I need some extra illumination from um, what my flashlight provides or just something handheld. I've got a lightning wall charger, cigarette style charger from Anchor. This is a small Anchor power bank. Um, it's 5,000 milliamp hours. Uh, I think it's the smallest one that they make and it just fits nicely in there and provides me a charge or two from my phone if it's completely dead. Then in here I've got my lightning power cord, my headphones. Um, this is a cord that you plug into your phone here and then it allows you to charge it with this port and plug in your headphones in this port since the Apple only has one port. Um, you can charge and have your headphones in at the same time. Um, this charger here is for the Anchor Power Bank. And then I generally carry Olight flashlights, so I've got a couple chargers for those, just depending on which flashlight I take. One has a tail cap charger, the other one has a plug-in charger. So that's what I keep in this pack. So next up I have a small first aid slash hygiene kit. This is just in a small pouch from REI. So I've got a six pack of foam earplugs. <clears throat> you never know when you're gonna be in an environment where it's loud and you need to plug your ears and it's just always nice to have that option. Got a small pack of throat lozenges. Bottle of lubricant eye drops. Got another couple of the single wet ones. Have a thermometer. Have one Zyrtec tablet. Uh, sometimes if I'm outside and sneezing like crazy, it's always nice to have one of these and usually helps out pretty quick. Got a small thing of floss. And this little pill container I've got uh, a leaf and in this one I've got uh, pepsid tablets got a small um, vapor inhaler it's a 
temporarily for stuffy nose. And then a little more powerful, uh, if I'm stopped up, I can take this and it usually opens me up pretty quick. A little nose spray. Then in here, I've got a uh, little sheet of Prepto Bismol tabs. I've got a few of the Alka Seltzer Plus um, cold tablets. Some uh, Tylenol uh, powder here. Just dump it on your tongue in case you don't have any water or anything like that to take a pill with. Uh, just dump it on your tongue and it dissolves. Um, this is called rock tape. It's um, used to prevent blisters on your feet and things like that. So you can um, strap it to the outside of your of your uh, ankle, kind of like mole skin, just a little bit thicker and stronger. So this is just kind of a little boo boo kit. Uh, I've got some nail clippers, tweezers, Q-tips, a few bandages, um, alcohol prep pads. That sort of thing. I mean, if I just get a little cut, um, this will take care of it. And the last pouch that I keep in the backpack is um, another small pouch from REI. Um, this is just my snack pouch, snack slash food pouch. So I've got a um, little s'mores kids bar here. I've got one, two, three, four packs of peanuts, um, lots of protein, lots of calories. I've got several of these propel drink mixes um, just to help with the flavor of water. That's really why I carry them. And I've got a few of the uh, goo gels. Uh, different flavors there and uh, same type of deal uh, honey stinger gels a couple of those there and then I've got a couple of the big um, pro bar um, meal bars here so 270 calories per bar um, it's pretty decent to, to fill you up if you're looking for a little snack so 290 in this one so that is all I carry in my snack pouch. And next up I have my individual first aid kit. This is a pouch from 511. Uh, for me this was kind of the best fit for what I was looking for as far as the layout and the size. Um, this was this is what I went with. So on the outside I've got a small sharpie marker and then on the other side I've just got a pair of trauma shears. And this is set up with these molly strips, so um, I believe they market it as something that you can attach to like the headrest of your car and just rip away as needed, but I just keep it in my backpack, but it has these uh, molly sticks if you choose to uh, use the molly portion of it. So. Going into here, I've got uh, one pack of nitrile gloves that I just packaged up myself. I've got uh, two more little rolled up ones, nitrile gloves from North American Rescue. Uh, I think everything in here pretty much is from North American Rescue. A small survival blanket. A small thing of the adhesive tape. I've got two packs of the uh, compressed gauze um, in case you're trying to wrap a wound or uh, maybe stuff a wound um, you can use this for that. I have one six inch emergency trauma dressing pack of the quick clot combat gauze the LE version um, just supposed to be a little more upgraded than the regular version so I got this and then a twin pack of the um, 
hyphen vent chest seals. These are the compact size. Um, I got that. And the last item in here is my Gen 7 cat tourniquet. Uh, I know it says for training use only, but according to uh, their website, it says that these um, are designed exactly the same and they work exactly the same. Um, they're just blue for uh, differentiating a training one from a regular one. But if I'm only going to use this once, um, I prefer the color blue better myself. So I've got the blue one. And that's all I have in the individual first aid kit. Okay, and on the back side of the backpack, it does have um, a very large zippered compartment that goes all the way around. And that is how I have mine set up. Um, this red zipper here, uh, you can insert a ballistic panel. Uh, there's companies like Premier Body Armor that make panels that are um, sized to fit exactly in uh, this bag and other bags, 511 bags and other things like that. So, uh, But I have mine set up with um, this here and um, a VanQuest double mag pouch here. So that's what I keep in there. All right, guys, that concludes uh, the walkthrough of my EDC bag. And um, it's also kind of set up as like a short range get home bag. Uh, that's why I have some of the, the tools in there, like the small bolt cutters and small pry bar and things like that. Um, you know, if I'm headed home from whatever event where I can't use a vehicle, um, some of those items might come in handy. So. That's why I have those. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to reply as quickly as I can. I really appreciate you sticking around and watching the video and uh, we'll catch up soon. Thanks.